Hello everyone and welcome back to the course. In this lesson, we will finally start adding our own data attributes to our custom class. We will learn about the most common data types in Unreal Engine, as well as look at examples for each one. Before we jump into Unreal, let's recall from the previous lesson that the Blueprint Editor lets us create variables and this is the way we create our data attributes. But what is a variable? Let's find out. When you think about how a computer stores information, you typically think about storing data in a disk drive or random access memory. When a computer program or game engine is running, it needs to keep all relevant information in memory so it is readily available to use. This is also the case for Unreal Engine. It needs to keep all its relevant data in memory while the game is running. This includes all our custom data. So in order to utilize our memory space efficiently, Unreal needs to know what type of data we are storing. This way, it can reserve the necessary space in memory for our data. So, for example, if one of our data attributes refers to whole numbers, Unreal can reserve the needed space to store those values in memory. However, if we wanted to store text, for example, Unreal would need to allocate more memory for such a value. This is where the concept of a variable comes in. A variable is a data container that reserves space in memory for a specific type of value. It's called variable because the actual value within the container can vary or change during gameplay. However, the type will never change. A common example is a character's health value or HP. This can be represented by a number. So in this case, we can create a number variable called health that will hold our character's HP during gameplay. So now that we know what a variable is, let's take a look at the most common variables or data types available in Unreal Engine. Let's go over to the Variables tab here and click on the plus sign. Give your new variable a name. And now go to the Details panel and click on the Variable Type dropdown. Let's go ahead and look at some of the common ones and talk about some examples. The first one is the Boolean. This represents a true or false value. For example, is the player HP less than zero? Does the player have a door key? Then we have the integer. This is a non-fractional number or a whole number. It can also contain negative values. An example would be the number of coins collected by a player or the number of trophies unlocked in a game. Next we have the float. This represents a high precision fractional value, also called a rational number in math. Examples include percentages and probabilities or any number with a decimal place. The next ones, name, string, and text are all related. They basically represent a sequence of characters used to store words or plain text. We will learn about the differences soon, but for now, an example would be a weapon's name in the game, or perhaps text displayed in a HUD or as part of the interface. The next one would be the vector or vector3. This is a group of three float values that represent three related values. Usually, the most common example is a location which has an X, Y, and Z value. It could also represent a color, RGB color, with X representing red, Y representing green, and Z representing blue. The next one is a rotator. 
And again, it's a group of three float values that represent a rotation in 3D space. The rotation in X, or the value in X, represents the roll. The rotation in Y represents the pitch. And the rotation in Z represents the yaw. And finally, the transform, which contains the location, rotation, and scale of an object in 3D space. And of course, this represents the transform of an actual blueprint inside your level. I'll leave this table up just a moment in case you want to write it down or take a screenshot. Let's take a moment to take a look at the text variable types we saw earlier. First, we have the string. A string is a sequence of characters that can be manipulated and converted to other data types. There is an entire string function library available to manipulate strings. An example could be any text that can be searched or manipulated. For example, the text melee underscore id123 can be converted into id123 for identification purposes by using the substring function. Then we have the text variable. Text supports formatting and it can be localized by using Unreal Engine's default localization system. An example could be any text that is displayed as part of a character's dialog on the screen. And finally, we have the name. A name is limited text used mainly for identifying objects by using tags. It is not case sensitive. An example would be the typical actor tags used to identify specific actor blueprints in the level. One more thing to keep in mind. You can set a default value to your variables, but only after compiling your blueprint. As you can see here, I can add a value to my variable after compiling for a different variable type. So let's do a quick recap. We learned how variables work. We learned about common variable types and examples. And we saw that we can assign default values to our variables after compiling. If you want to practice what we learned, come up with two to three examples for each data type by using the table below. And that's all we have for this lesson. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.